social distancing with Winfrey. This is where I give you an update on everything that's happening concerning coronavirus globally, okay? So I also might get to interview a few of my favorite people just to ask them or keep up with how they're keeping up during this period, how to make sure they're staying safe and all of that. Also, we'll be dropping some lifestyle tips to make sure you and your family and friends are staying safe. Safe, okay, so make sure you sit back, relax, and enjoy this. Welcome back. You're still watching Social Distancing with Winfrey, and I would like to start with I mean, updates globally. Okay, so as at now, we've recorded over 1.3 million cases of coronavirus globally. That is preposterous, if you ask me. I mean, this virus is spreading so fast faster than a whole lot of things and it's really sad because as the cases increase the debt numbers the debt tolls also increase presently we have over 75,000 deaths around the world not 75 people not 750 not 7,500 75,000 and it's crazy and scary because the numbers keep climbing let's see I wonder what it would be like at the end of the week it's so crazy so guys make sure you stay indoors stay safe with whatever you're doing i mean people are dying so fast that the hospitals cannot even necessarily keep up because a lot of people now do not know what to do with their their dead bodies some are disposing them and the sad thing is the family members don't even get to get the bodies back when their friends or families die which is actually really really sad we are next talking about how a um, legal state governor Samuel Lu has actually come out to say that he may extend the holiday okay it's not a holiday the self-quarantining and lockdown in Lagos State for okay he didn't tell us how long he extra to extend before but he actually has come out to say that he may extend it and it's because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people did not think that two is going to be enough I personally did not think two is going to be enough to handle the whole cases we have and discover the ones we actually haven't discovered yet in Nigeria, however, in Wari Delta State, a young man who was said to be engaged actually got killed also by a military man. So this is what they said happened, that he was going to get drugs during the period of the lockdown curfew and then he was accosted by these guys and probably an, an argument ensued or trying to run away or something and they actually shot and killed him. Why? They said he was actually coming out to get medication or get money to get medication for his pregnant fiance who was home, right? Okay, that might be a lie or might be a story. I do not know, but even if it's not, or if it is, like, come on. You cannot be telling me stay safe, stay home, and then I come outside and you are, I, there's a possibility of me dying also. It's like being between the, the, the Red Sea and the devil, and it doesn't make any sense. So please, I think we need to tell us we need to enforce, but at the same time, we need to make sure that there are guidelines set in place to regularize their enforcement so they don't go killing people indiscriminately okay Funke Akindele Bello and her husband have been reportedly sentenced to 14 days community service and a hundred thousand naira fine for flouting lockdown rules okay so it was reported that her husband JJC skills birthday was a few days ago and in her house was hosted a house party okay so i saw i did see a video of funke coming out to apologize for misleading or flouting any laws if she actually did that but she did explain that what exactly happened was that the people at her house where they're shooting a video i mean you know she does her general diaries and all of that where she stays in mns states and she said that all of them came there to shoot it way before the lockdown even happened but because the lockdown happened they couldn't go back home so decided to stay over she did also say that in a new project she's working on naramali is part of it and that he was there also way before and that's why whatever happened happened but she was still sentenced with her husband and all of that so the idea was that okay fine whether or not they were there before or after the lockdown law she was not meant to host um, 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 a crowd of 20 people and above and of course the people were actually over 20 people 
Okay, Corona, Corona, Corona. We're still talking about Corona. And now we're talking more about the lockdown, things that are happening and things that are not happening. Okay, so now what is happening is that a lot of people are home and because of that, I mean, just like I am, I'm being subjected to my phone, I'm always on social media or watching TV and all of that. And it's actually good if you're trying to pass a message across. Okay, so now a lot of people have actually taken solitude in TikTok. Yes, TikTok the app because I've been laughing all week because the videos are hilarious and of course it's still keeping us all entertained. However, in the US, the US Army has banned your soldiers from using TikTok app on their phones. Why? So this is the idea behind it. So TikTok is actually an app that's owned by a Chinese company and because of that, the US are scared that they think TikTok is an app used to extract information from people that download the app and i must say in the tiktok is like two years old right and in between the time it was created and now it has over or more downloads than instagram facebook twitter or any other social platform i'm sure you noticed that i'm really excited and that is because this particular story is talking about money where the money at but it's actually coronavirus money, so it's not too excited about that. Okay, so the federal government has approved a whopping $150 million stabilization fund and a $500 billion naira intervention fund. A part of me wants to believe that it was a $150 billion that they converted to $500 billion naira. I don't want to believe that two funds because it's. But then again, we're in Nigeria, so what do I know? <laughs> because I'm confused. Eh? And this type of money is inside this country, and we are suffering like this. Now, wow, sometimes some things will happen. You just be thinking, should you be praying for Corona constantly? But no, it's not a good thing, anyways. Anyways, that's one aside, right? So, reports have it that the federal government claims to have given or transferred 20,000 naira to about 2.6 million families in Nigeria and I'm wondering am I in Kenya or in Bojobora or Venezuela because I'm confused the money has not reached my domot neither has it reached the domot of any of my neighbors so please if the money has reached you just comment below oh. Thanks so much for watching Social Distancing with Winfrey. I hope you had a great time. I definitely did have an amazing time updating you on everything happening around the world. It doesn't end here. I will definitely be back every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays by 6 p.m. to keep you updated and, of course, give you the best interviews and lifestyle tips on how to stay safe and how to stay healthy. My name is Winfrey Okolo, and make sure you please follow me on social media at Winfrey Dania. Of course, the link is there. And also on the YouTube, just search me for Kulu, the lifestyle queen. You see me pop up on your screen, okay? Have an amazing time. Do stay safe. Do wash your hands. Do sanitize as, frequ as frequently as possible. And if you, for any reason, have to go outside to get anything, make sure you have your face masks on. So face masks are obviously the trend right now. So do not bother with wearing boring face masks. You can get these guys from Maji, Africa's biggest brand. Her handle is down, so you can easily order this. And this is actually just 500 naira, and it's an hour. And if you want them studded or designed, she can do that for you. Because it's not only when you have the virus that you wear face masks. You are to wear face masks once you're leaving your house. So make sure you don't get contaminated or contaminate others okay guys peace love and happiness stay safe love ya Mwah.